running late to work because I wanted to make sure my beta from yesterday was uploading. I think my priorities are a little screwed up. It's okay, I'm one of those people that show up to work 15 minutes early, and so today I'll probably just be on time, and everyone will probably think that I'm dead. <laughs> Another day of vlogist. Yay! So at work I deal with a lot of people, and not like physical people, but a lot of their data, and I see like over a hundred names a day, which um, sometimes you come across some comical names every once in a while. And um, me and my cubemate were giggling over a particular last name that I had on a report today. Their last name was Ben Lolo. <laughs> and it was just funny to say out loud. And uh, she asked me how I thought we started using last names in our culture. And I figure really we started using last names because we have our first names to identify ourselves as individuals, but we but back then they probably wanted to have some way to identify you being related or a part of a family and that's what the last name was. That's why we have the last names the same as our family now. That's what I'm guessing. But uh, I wikied it and there's no information about that, but there was all this other information about names there. Yeah, I wiki things a lot. I just, wiki's like my favorite. <laughs> but we are actually not the only species that names are uh, each other. Dolphins, of course, name each other too with different like whistles and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Of course, we all know that dolphins are actually probably smarter than us and just trying to take over the world because that's what I'm pretty sure is happening. But I also found out that in ancient times, uh, they believed names to be a really powerful and can in some ways act as like a separate entity or manifestation of oneself. And that's why in ancient magic, they uh, used to um, do magic in someone's name because they believed that if they did that then that person um, would help the magic to perform better I guess so like the more powerful name you use to do your magic in is like the better the spell or something I also know in a bunch of uh, books uh, literature they use um, different themes with names, especially in uh, Christopher Palin's um, Inheritance Cycle. If you know someone's true name, then you're able to control that person. And I thought that was, I think that's a cool concept in those books. And I really like those books, by the way. <laughs> but uh, it's funny because if you think about that now, like, if that was happening in real life, like anyone could just go on Facebook and get everyone's real name and just control most of the population because a lot of people are on Facebook. Of course, if that was real life, everyone would be using cool fake names. So actually, I think that would be cooler. Okay, instead of being on Wikipedia, like reading about names, which probably sounds really boring. <laughs> um, I should be cleaning my room because remember last Thursday when I said my room was really messy? Well it still is really messy. I haven't cleaned it yet and I'm still filming in this corner because it's the only corner that is clean <laughs> and it's gross. So I'm going to go clean my room now for real. This is it. I'm gonna clean it. I'll probably tell you tomorrow that I didn't clean it but I'm, I'm going to attempt to do it right now and wish me luck. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Booly boop!